Okay, uh, this group that we have here this morning has been together probably uh, about seven or eight years, uh, most of us. Um, we have our resident uh, oxygen uh, tester and, and uh, Bell Kaufman here, and uh, she's, uh, she does a great job. And she also does the uh, uh, nitrates and uh, general all-around uh, good person. We have Carl Crone, who's also a fairly good person. And uh, he is our designated waiter, as you can probably see. He's the only one with boots on. And uh, so uh, he also uh, does a, a number of the chemical tests. Uh, and uh, we're certainly glad to have him, especially since he weighs. Uh, then we have Harv Bainey here, and Harv does, uh, uh, mostly does our phosphates. Uh, and he's uh, done a great job. What we do is on Tuesdays, and almost every Tuesday, uh, rain or shine, except for in storms, uh, we, we go out, four of us go out. Uh, we have a, a great camaraderie, uh, we, as uh, you'll find out. We do kid each other some. And uh, we're, uh, today we're here at the uh, Yellow Breaches at the, where Slate Hill crosses the uh, stream and we're going to the first thing we're going to do is our designated waiter Carl will go out and pick up uh, some samples one for oxygen to test the amount of oxygen in the water and then we'll have another sample that we take down to the senior center and we're we're really fortunate uh, that the senior center allows us to use uh, their facility there uh, it, it saves us uh, a lot of cold fingers and cold toes, and uh, we, but we and we do a, can do a better job because uh, we can uh, have all of the stuff there that we need to do the chemical testing. And now we're going to go down and uh, we're going to pick up a couple of samples and uh, get back in our cars and we're going down to uh, our laboratory and uh, do some. Uh, uh, chemical analysis. Okay, guys. Oh, Mark, you want your... yeah. Okay, I'm going to go out now and take the first sample, water sample here, and uh, I'll cleanse the bottle with the water here, and I'll bring it in, and then I'll give it to Belle here, and then Belle will do her things to put in her. Uh, procedure so that she can test the oxygen in the water. Why, why is it important to test for dissolved oxygen? Dissolved oxygen is a good indication of how healthy the stream is. Obviously, the less dissolved oxygen, the more difficult it is for animals to live, especially species like trout and so on. Those streams that have acid mine drainage have very low dissolved oxygen. And we have found in the yellow breaches that dissolved oxygen is usually at a fairly good level, which is a sign of a healthy stream. We also take a temperature reading each time, which Art records. Art? Uh, I'm ready. Well, interestingly, it's 12 degrees centigrade in air and 12 water. That doesn't happen very often, does it? Uh, just wait uh, here until the uh, uh, solution when we're testing the oxygen in it, it uh, settles down and you, get, you have to get it so that it's properly mixed in and um, then we can add the third chemical uh, and we don't then we don't have to worry uh, about uh, introducing outside oxygen or 
uh, because it, that uh, keeps the uh, chemical uh, pretty uh, pretty standard, pretty uh, so that we can uh, transport it without down to uh, the uh, senior center and do the rest of the test down there.